back bumper of the 17. Johnny Sauter trying to figure out a way around, but can't do it. Now he's side by side with his teammate fighting for third. Hornaday did not have a great restart. Timothy Peters has a lead. Timothy Peters takes over the top spot. Just under 10 laps of racing to go. And it's Hornaday running second. Matt Crafton has moved up to third. Back to fourth goes Johnny Sauter. We saw the tweet by Sarah Peters, his wife, talking about how she was lacking oxygen, so nervous with her husband out in front and expecting their first child. I can't imagine what it's like for her right now. Watch this restart here on the right side of our screen. Remember, Hornaday's the boss, that white truck number nine on the restart. Did he spin his tires, Michael? Looked like he did. And look, Jason, Johnny Sauter had designed them going up the middle of those two. Couldn't quite fit in there. And look at Crafton sneaking around the outside of Sauter. You know, if Ron Hornaday did spin those tires, Timothy Peters still beat him to the start finish line. The leader is supposed to be the guy that gets there first, so I'm glad there isn't a call there right. because Timmy Timmy gets a good start. Ron spins his tires a little bit. That, it was a really close battle to the start finish line. I'm glad NASCAR said we're not going to get involved in right. that. Yeah, I think the officials will look at that, and then when they see Ron Hornaday spins his tires, and they they say, okay, no call. Final lap. The 17 of Timothy Peters coming in. He was your points leader. Looking to extend that points lead as he rockets down the back stretch and into turns three and four. Looking for his fourth career win. Timothy Peters coming go, out of turn number four. He'll win really it. Nice job tonight, everybody. Thank you very much. That's away, boys.